Good morning, class. How's everybody doing this morning? Good, that's great to hear. Did everybody have a good weekend? Okay, guys, I just wanna remind you of a couple of the rules with online learning, okay? I need you guys to make sure that your cameras are on right now and that you've muted your microphones. If you're not muted, I can do it for you, but really, I just wanna see all your beautiful faces, so if you could please put on your cameras, I'd really appreciate it. So today, we're gonna to be going over one of my very favorite things to talk about when it comes to reading, and that is a summary. Does anybody know what a summary is? Okay, yeah, definitely. Uh, Sarah, great way to put that in your own words. Um, a summary is exactly what you just said, putting the content of whatever story you've read into your own words. Your summary should be short and sweet and consist of maybe three to four sentences at most, okay? Does anybody know what you should be looking for in a summary? Okay, we want main characters, we want plot, what's the problem, how do we resolve it, and what happens at the end, right? So, um, before class started this morning, I sent all of you an email, and in that email it had a link to the book that we're going to read to do our simple summaries today, which the name of the book is The Paper Bag Princess. And also, um, you're write a simple summary sheet. This is what we're going to use while we are reading the book today. And it's really important that you have this in front of you because I'm going to be asking questions as I read, okay? So does everybody have all of these documents in front of them? Okay, does anybody have any questions about what we're going to be doing? So just to reiterate, we're going to be reading this story together, The Paper Bag Princess. You can follow along with me here on the video or you can look at the one that I provided for you in your email. And we're gonna be using our simple summary sheet right here to look for key things. And those key things are gonna be, obviously the, the chapter and title of the book, somebody, so who our main character is, what they wanted, or maybe what the problem was, but why. So what do we do to solve it? And then how does the story end? So we're gonna be working on all of that together and then at the end, you guys are going to be putting all of your info that you gathered from up here together in your very own short summary. Are you guys ready? Okay, here we go. The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Can anybody take a guess as to who they think our main character or characters may be? Right, Elizabeth. So let's go ahead and take our simple summary sheet real quick and we can write Elizabeth there. And maybe Ronald too, maybe he's gonna end up being a main character. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her clothes with his fiery breath and carried off Prince Ronald. Oh my goodness, look what happened there. What do you guys think? Do you think maybe the dragon's gonna be the problem? Maybe, let's keep reading to see. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. Ooh, okay, hold on, right there, what do you think? So for our want, she's gonna chase the dragon to get Ronald back? So again, on our simple summary sheet, let's go ahead and annotate that, okay? She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests and horses bones. Oosh, horses bones? And there it is, that's the trail. <laughs> Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am very busy, dragon. Come back tomorrow. 
He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Can everybody see that? Okay, guys, make sure your cameras are on. I need to see your beautiful faces as we're reading together. Okay, so at this point in the story, we have identified who our main characters are. So Ronald, Elizabeth, and we would say the dragon too, right? Good. Elizabeth wants to find the dragon so she can get Ronald back. That's our want. And what do you guys think the problem is at this point? We see here he's not really giving Elizabeth the time of day, huh? Okay, let's keep going to see what happens. <clears throat> is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon, and he took a huge deep breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 50 forests. Hmm, I wonder why she's asking him questions now. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. Hmm. Okay. So she's starting to ask the dragon a lot of questions about how much of like a, you know, bad guy is he, right? So maybe she's trying something. I don't know. Let's keep going. Fantastic, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 100 forests. Magnificent, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath, but this time nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Hmm. So she's asking him if he's fierce and about the fire, and all of a sudden he's starting to get tired. Do you think this is maybe how she's trying to solve the problem? Trying to get him tired so maybe she can go find Ronald? I don't know. What do you think? Mm hmm Okay, let's keep going. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, Fantastic, do it again! Hmm. So we see Dragon starting to get real tired from breathing all of that fire. And now he's traveled around the world twice in 10 seconds. So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk and he lay down and went straight to sleep. Okay, what, are, what can we guess at this point? Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon. The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could, Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. Ooh. Do you think she's going to go see if Ronald's in, behind that door in there in the cave? Well, now she got dragon out of the way. That's how she solved that problem, right? <clears throat> Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes, your hair is all tangled, and you are wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you are dressed like a real princess. Oh my. Good Lord, what would you what would you guys do if you, you just saved somebody and they said that to you? Hmm. Ron, 
Donald, said Elizabeth. Your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum. They didn't get married after all. Okay, so if we're having to talk about summarizing how the story ends, what do you guys think? It ends with them not getting married. And she says, hmm, sorry, Prince Ronald. I don't need you after all. All right, guys. So everybody should have filled this out as we went along, right? So we have our somebody, the want, the but, so, and then. So we have the parts of our summary. Now, what I want you guys to do is to take a minute and kind of think to yourself, hmm, how would I summarize this? I may say something like, there was once a princess named Elizabeth who was to marry a prince named Ronald. Sentence one. Ronald was taken by a fierce dragon and her castle and kingdom was burned down. Elizabeth went after Prince Ronald and did everything she could to tire out the dragon so she could save Ronald. In the end, Elizabeth decided she didn't want Ronald after all. So I think that would be my summary. What do you guys think? Do you have questions about that? Okay, I want you guys to take a couple of minutes and at the bottom of this summary right here, I want you guys to go ahead and write your summary. So at this point, I would give the students four or five minutes to work on their summaries. Okay, guys, great job. So the next thing that we're going to do is you guys are all going to email me um, a copy of your simple summary, and I'm going to look at them. I can't wait to read what you guys have written as your summaries. And for tomorrow, you have a little bit of homework. I want you guys to pick... Um, a simple story, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, the Three Little Pigs. I want you guys to use this exact same summary sheet and you're going to identify on your own all of the different steps that are going to help you write your summary on the story that you've read and then we'll talk about it tomorrow, okay? Do you guys have any questions before we go to recess? All right guys, you did a great job today.